Oh, hey everyone, uh, my name is Paul Castro Jr., and I just wanted to let you know I am a super huge fan of this project. Um, it's the only show I watch ever. I've been watching it since I was a kid, and that's why you guys should hire me. Um, I'm gonna be perfect for this job, better than anyone you've ever seen. At one second, Mom! Sorry about that. My mom was uh, yelling at me, but you're going to see that no one's going to do as good a job as I can do. So um, I'm going to go ahead right now, and I might try a couple of different uh, uh, voices and tries, but um, uh, here we go. This is going to be take one of, or, or, of around 300, uh, but uh, here I go. Okay. <clears throat> <laughs> Take two. Hey guys, Paul Castro Jr. here, and while you're recovering from that pterodactyl screech, why don't you go ahead and give a like, and subscribe, and welcome to the dinosaur family. So today, I want to talk about something that seems super simple, um, it's required on nearly every single audition you will get, and that is what is called a slate. So a slate is when you usually say your name, and potentially the role you're reading for, maybe your agency, at the beginning or at the end of your audition, so the casting directors know who you are. So there are a couple of different methods or philosophies or opinions. Again, this is my own personal opinion. Uh, there is no golden rule on how to do this. This is just my advice I'm giving you on how you might be able to increase your chances of booking just by slating a, a, a more effective way. So the traditional slate is simply Paul Castro Jr. Just saying your name, and that is actually what I believe the tried and true way and most simple, effective way of slating. However, there are a couple of different ways you can slate or things that you should or shouldn't do that I'm going to discuss right now. So aside from just saying your name, Paul Castro Jr., you might potentially say your name, the character you're reading for in the agency. But instead of saying, hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Paul Castro Jr. I'm going to be reading for the role of Bob, and the agency I'm with is biggity biggity bob agency here we go see that probably took about 10 seconds and by that time the casting director is already going Ugh, tapping their foot looking at their watch because they've got about 500 more of these to go through for probably one tiny small part so instead of doing all of that you should just be simply saying paul castro jr billy bob agency that's it no haze uhs Thanks, this and that. Be short, sweet, and to the point the most effective way you can. And don't allow any extra kind of uh, uh, time to be taken away from the casting director's day by you trying to embellish your slate. Get to the audition. That's what you're here for. So another effective way of slating would be in the character's voice. And not just the character's voice, but maybe in uh, the character's personality or putting up a little bit of the action into the slate so right out of the get-go you're catching their ear from the first words that come out of your mouth because that's the most important most casting directors I would argue and from speaking with them are making their decision on whether or not they should continue listening in the first five seconds around there maybe three maybe seven maybe ten but it is super early in the audition so let's say your character is maybe like an orc or a ogre or something and you're doing kind of like a, a big voice like this a big Big, stupid voice, right? So instead of doing uh, just simply Paul Castro Jr. in that voice, you want to put the acting flavor onto it. Maybe give yourself a point of view in your slate. So maybe it's something like this. Paul Castro Jr. That's giving something that's going to stick out right away, maybe puts you into that second round category for the casting director. And lastly, here is my personal favorite way of slating, and this is actually being accepted and expected more from casting directors nowadays, and that is no slate. Don't say anything. Just get right into the audition. First lines right out the gate. Now, why would you not slate? This is pretty much the, the accepted practice. Like, how are they going to know who I am? And that's why you have an audition file for your agency or you are labeling your auditions co correctly. So it's either going to be your character name, underscore your name, underscore your agency, or simply role hyphen your name. So VO hyphen Paul Castro Jr. So there doesn't need to be a reason for you to sleep because if they've looked at the file, they know who you are. In this world where there's so many more self-taped, self-record auditions and you're not going into the studios, casting directors are casting a wider net and they really don't have that extra 
10, 15 seconds per audition file to be waiting to see if this is someone they want to consider because that's going to add up. And they've got to move not only on that character, but another whole list of characters. So the attention span, I would argue, is getting a little shorter. You don't need to embellish as much. You can get straight to the material and they're going to be making their decision pretty quickly. If you should move on to a callback or a second round of auditions. So guys, short, sweet, and to the point is going to be the motto of slating for me and you and for this video. So again, as always, if you've enjoyed this video, make sure you give a like, subscribe, and tell your friends and family that I'm helping all of you pursue your voice acting dreams. And I look forward to hearing you all very soon.